Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to do a nice little mail day video. I've got one modest piece of post, but I'm quite happy with it because it's going to complete a little side collection. Like I've got so many little side projects and collections and um, these are unlimited cards because um, I am missing a card in my collection. I'm just going to show you some cards and then I'm pretty sure you can find out which one um, card, which is the card that I'm missing and which is the card that's actually in this envelope. Multiple of them, I should say. So we've got here a lovely wall of air, right? Two blue, one to cast for a 1-5 flying wall. One of the better walls in old school magic doesn't see a lot of play. Then the other card I want to show you is Phantasmal Forces. One blue and three for a 4-1 and it's a flying creature and this card you have to spend one blue for the upkeep or else it gets destroyed. Now, I guess the one blue upkeep cost it's what is what's really holding this card back. I do realize that one toughness isn't great either, but on the other hand, you get four power in return. We do see this card uh, being played in some green blue uh, flyer decks. It does see some action, but not that much. I think for me personally, that one blue that I've got to pay during the upkeep, ah, that's a little painful, but I think it's an absolute beautiful card and it's it's not bad, you know, it's not a bad card. Anyway, that is this one. And then we have the Air Elemental, two blue and three for a four, four flyer. One of my favorite pieces of art, um, Richard Thomas also did the wall of art. And you can kind of see that same yellow coming back and that same style with the curls coming back in the Air Elemental as well. I think the Air Elemental is absolutely beautiful. And it's a little bit underappreciated because you've got Sangir Vampire and you've got um, Sarah Angel also at a casting cost of five, but they have an extra ability, right? And I guess Sarah Angel is the best out of those three. That's a safe conclusion uh, to make. I feel it's kind of like a fact almost, but when you're playing the color blue and you get a 4-4 flyer for five mana, that is a really, really good deal. That's a lot of bang for your buck. So. Don't underestimate this beautiful air elemental. And then the last card I want to show you is the Mahamoti Jin, Papa Moti. Two blue, four to cast for a five, six flyer. I mean, this creature wins it from the Shivan Dragon. Of course, the Shivan can be pumped with red mana and then you get an exchange. But, you know, just looking at the base power and toughness, Mahamoti Jin is stronger than Shivan Dragon. I mean, isn't that amazing? It's truly a strong gin. It's actually funny that you've got this big gin coming out and it doesn't grant wishes. Like flavor-wise, there should have been some kind of weird wishing ability here under the flying part, but I'm happy they didn't actually. I like it as a vanilla creature. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've played with it a lot and I still do. But now when we're looking at these cards, let me just get this out of the way. Now that we're looking at these four cards, what card am I missing? Exactly, I am missing one of the flyers, right? That was in the first core sets of Magic the Gathering. So these cards are all unlimited. Let me get the camera a little bit closer. Uh, but I was still missing one. And guess what? It has arrived. I guess you now already know what's in the envelope, but hey, maybe you're still gonna stick around. <laughs> but I'm always happy to get these cards. And I haven't been modest. I actually ordered uh, not one, I've ordered four, I believe, in total. So let me first get this open. And there we go. And here we have it. Of course, I was missing the Phantasmal, uh, sorry, the Phantom Monster. Look at that. Ooh, this one's a bit yellow. Hmm, okay. But, I mean, look at it though. One blue and three, three, three flyer. Very, very gruesome. And I can add it to my flyers collection. I think I'm now complete when it comes to the flyers in blue in the core set. Isn't that just a beautiful picture? I think if I have to pick one of these flyers, I think Air Elemental would be my favorite. Um, and perhaps it's also the most playable of these blue flyers of these five. Although what you see as well in, in, in a lot of decks, and, and I get that as well, is they just have one big bomb or they want to play one big bomb and then they choose to play with Mahamoti Jin, which is, makes sense. It's also a very strong card. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite blue flyer and why. Like, is it also Air Elemental like me or do you have a different choice? Let me know why. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, thank you for watching another uh, Timmy Talks Mail Day. Uh, it's been really nice. You know, I feel like the Mail Days, they get less views, but they're viewed by like a different type of audience, you know, that really enjoys the collecting part of old school magic, if you kind of know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite uh, blue flyer in, uh, in the core sets then? So Alpha, Beta and Unlimited. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you want to help the channel out, remember, hit that like button. It really helps a lot. And you can always become a patron as well. And you can join all the Timmy Talks fun, including our Discord. And your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. The end scroll. You know what? Let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken What shall we do with the drunken What shall we do with the drunken Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomaar gezien.